Hello. Hello. Can you see the clarity? This is called fish sauce or n a m p l a in Thai. It's a seasoning for Thai food. That is by adding the saltiness and the unique aroma into the main course. n a m p l a is the basic condiment found in almost every single Thai kitchen because it can be used in almost every single Thai menu. Thai fish sauce is made from fish fermented in salt, resulting in a unique condiment full of minerals and vitamin B12. The process in making a fish sauce is not complicated. At this factory, quality fish sauce is made the traditional way with new techniques used in packaging for export. Fish sauce is now available at supermarkets around the world. Wow, anchovies or g a t a k fish in Thai, used for making the best quality fish sauce that is clear and smells good. All the machineries and equipments here are highly technical for preserving the freshness of the fish before transferring it to the ferment bin. After the fish is fermented, it is filtered so only the clear fish sauce is bottled. And that was how a bottle of fish sauce is made. The taste that is truly Thai. Now this is the perfect condiment to fix yam n e y a n g or Thai beef salad. And I believe that Chef Won is in the kitchen waiting to show you how. สวัสดีครับอัมพลตันทัศเทียนครับ Today I gonna make you a Thai beef salad or yam เนื้อย่าง I just got a piece of nice lamb steak beef and I wrap it with banana leaf and put it on the charcoal grill Okay Right now it's already medium done I gonna take the wrap out If you don't have the banana leaf you can just wrap the beef with the foil that would be okay as well Let's see. Wow. Okay. Right now, I just gonna cool down the beef a little bit. Let's see what other ingredient we have. Bird eye chili, both the red and green one, mix up and chop finely. Chop some garlic and lime juice, fish salt, and sugar. We're gonna mix all of them together. Let's start from sugar and fish salt. And lamb. Stir until all the sugar dissolve. After that, just put all of the garlic chop and bird eye chili. Okay, mix them well. Right now, let's see for the vegetable that we're gonna mix with in our grilled beef salad. Okay, I have one onion, medium size, and some cucumber, and small eggplant. Okay, I'm gonna start with the eggplant. I'm gonna take the stem out, and then just half it, and just cut it into thin slices, and put them in the water with some salt to pretend, uh, uh, prevent it from getting darker. Just soak them well in salt water. And then for the cucumber, I'm gonna quarter it first, and then just take the inside out, and then we just cut it into small pieces. Right now we got the cucumber. 
The reason that we take to have to take the seed out to prevent the salad dressing to become too watery. Okay, and okay, the last one is onion. Just cut it in half and then slice it. Okay, so right now we done for the other vegetable. Let's see, the beef right now is getting cool now. So I gonna slide the beef. As you can see inside of the beef is still juicy. But if you cut it when the beef is hot, then when it cool down, you gonna lose all the juiciness. Okay, I think this is enough for the beef right now. Just mix them together. First of all, I'm gonna strain the water out from the eggplant. Put some of the eggplant onto the bowl, onion, and cucumber. Mix them all together well with the salad dressing. Just lightly toss them together. And finally, we add our beef into the bowl. Okay, and then toss them together well. And right now, it's ready to put on the plate. Before putting it on the plate, I'm gonna just torn the lettuce a little bit, lining the plate as a nice decoration that you can enjoy. Okay, decorate with one or two sprigs of coriander and some red chili shredded. Here we are, grilled beef salad or yam nuyang. Enjoy.